What is up, YouTube? El Destroyero here, elbow dropping yet another episode of Thrifting Throwdown, the show all about my quest to add a whole bunch of video games to my collection on the cheap by going to yard sales, flea markets, pawn shops, thrift shops, you name it. And speaking of my collection, here's where things stand after the last episode of Thrifting Throwdown. As you can see, a lot of success lately hunting these games out on this thrift journey. So much so that I'm not even sure where I'm going to put all these games because I'm about to hit 1,000 games in my collection uh, getting there so fast. But I am thrilled to have you along for that ride. Before we jump into today's thrifting throwdown, though, I do want to remind you, you can follow me on social media at LDabstroyero. I post, uh, you know, thrifting finds, memes, you know, a whole bunch of weird stuff. Go check me out. And also, if you do like my videos, be sure to hit that like button. And more importantly, hit that subscribe button. It really shows you like the channel and it helps me with the YouTube algorithms, the all important YouTube algorithms. That said, I want to get on the road. So uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go thrift together.
Okay, thank you. Um, any video games still floating around somewhere? Yeah, something. Okay. And is the car open? Yeah. You gotta pull up Eight or nine dollars, yeah. Other dog treats. <laughs> Are these all two bucks as well? Mm -hmm. okay. Do you have a YouTube channel? Yeah. What's the name of your YouTube channel? <laughs> it's kind of hard to spell. It's El Dabstroyero. Write it down or put it on your phone. Oh, okay. Thanks. Here, I'm gonna grab five of these then, so I'll give you ten bucks.
Hello there. Gone. Very, very highly discounted. <laughs> I'll poke around here though.
So this didn't have the game in it. What would you want for just the case? Can we take a buck for it? A buck? Yeah. All right. Let me just look at what you got here. I have a PlayStation sitting there. <laughs> What would you do on these two? Ten. Ten for both of them? All right, let me look here. Or something else I'll grab. Hey, so I was at that yard sale and I just picked up a few games for eight bucks. I haggled the kid down from 10 and I was walking away and I noticed they had two Intellivision games sitting there in the box. Football, still in the plastic. Whoops. And we've got horse racing. And it looks like it's, if not complete, very close to complete. So, uh, yeah, he wanted two bucks for these. I gave him two bucks, so a dollar a piece. And then I'd given uh, eight bucks for these things that are falling all over the place. Uh, Ten bucks total, and I got two freaking Intellivision games. The first Intellivision games I've seen while doing thrifting, so... Yeah, real interesting stop. Let's uh, let's get back on the road and see what else we can find. we will reveal ourselves to the Jedi. At last we will have revenge. Hey, how's it going? Good.
How's it going? Any old video games floating around as far as you're aware, like Atari, Nintendo, anything like that? No. Gotcha. I'll just poke around then. Oh, okay. They got a Bernie bobblehead. Or uh, a pop figure. How much you want on that? Yeah, I'll grab that. Wow, the Honeymooners game, that's interesting. Yeah, sir. It's like 40, 40 yeah. years old at this point. <laughs> Talk uh, years ago. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> on late night TV. Like, even that's vintage. There's some really interesting that's stuff. That's 1923. Oh, really? So, you figure it's 100 years. I, I can't believe it's in the condition it's in. Yeah, that's in Oh, yeah, it says right there, 1923. That's great condition. That is exceptional condition. <laughs> I found it online. It went for a hundred and quarter. The yeah. rough ones were gone in 1860. I believe it. But I never saw one that old that was in that. In pocket. that great condition, yeah. That's like definitely a collector's item. <laughs> Little cap gun. Yeah. Oh, do you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. at home base ready to take a look at everything that we picked up today we managed to grab a whole pile of video games and i'm really excited to go through it all with you in no particular order up first we have mx unleashed playstation 2 game picked that up for just a dollar as you can see great price on that considering it's complete gonna look great in my collection and I want to point out, obviously, we've got this little Space Invader here with us today. That's because we had some vintage pickups. That's right, the first vintage pickup, football for the Intellivision. 
$6.99. Look at that tag from KB Toys. That is an ancient tag. I would love to know what year that tag was put on this game. $6.99. If you're not familiar with the Intellivision, that was the main competitor to the Atari 2600. So this is a really retro vintage game. Hence, the Space Invader vintage toy joining us for this wrap-up video. The second vintage game we picked up today, Horse Racing, also for the Intellivision, and pretty exciting. This one is complete. Look at this. It even has these little plastic, I don't even know what these are. They're not quite stickers. I don't know. I guess they're instructions on how to use this thing. Oh yeah, that's right. If you remember the Intellivision, it's the one that had the goofy number pad. So <laughs> these are corresponding to the, uh, you can coax your horse, oh boy. This is a whole thing. So there we go. The only downside to this complete in box, the bottom of the box is ripped off. Ugh, some dumb kid did that somewhere, I'm sure. But still a good pickup for the collection. Next, getting to some of the more recent pickups. <laughs> I don't know if more recent's the way to describe this. PlayStation 1, definitely a few years after the Intellivision, but um, by no means is this a new game. Still, cracked case, I'm going to get a replacement for that, and this should be good to go into my collection. Next, we got one of the pickups from that sidewalk yard sale. Ringling Brothers Barnum Bailey, greatest show on earth for the Nintendo Wii. Love the cover art on this. It's so colorful. And it just seemed like an interesting title to add to the collection, so I wanted to pick that one up for sure. Have some Xbox 360 titles I picked up. Mirror's Edge and Frontline's Fuel of War. No idea what these games are. I've never played either one of them. I'm assuming this is like a Call of Duty clone. And looks like a first-person shooter of some kind. Most exciting first-person adventure of the year. You can trust Electronic Gaming Monthly, so we'll go with their word on this one. Up next, for PlayStation 2, we've got Chess Master. This one I had to grab. Definitely not going to have much value in it, I would imagine, but I love the uh, different chess pieces on the cover here, but I also used to play Chess Master all the time on the Super Nintendo, and I still have it on the shelf here. I also picked up NBA 07 for the PlayStation 2. You can see it's got Kobe Bryant on the cover. I don't know if that impacts the value at all because obviously he passed away a few years ago, but that'll be interesting to look up when I get around to doing it. Another PlayStation 2 game here. We've got Ben 10, Protector of Earth, Greatest Hits Edition. Ben 10 was a little bit after my time, so I didn't really watch that show, but I'm curious if any of you watched that. And uh, Are you a fan of Ben 10? Is it something you like? Have you played this game? Uh, let me know in the comments. Not going to lie, I'm pretty excited for this one. Riding Star sealed for $2. Probably exactly what this thing is worth, but I mean, how many horse racing games can you have? I think I've got three at this point. I don't think that's nearly enough horse racing games. Can you become the next riding star in this world-class equestrian simulation? Yes, we can, except not, not us because it's sealed, obviously, and I'm not going to open it. But nice addition to the collection for two bucks. And the last PlayStation 2 game we picked up in this batch, NCAA Game Breaker 2004. I used to play a lot of these NCAA games, had a lot of fun, but um, haven't really been picking up the sports titles to play lately, just picking them up to add to my collection. So as you can imagine, my collection is quickly filling up with lots and lots of sports titles. Speaking of sports titles, my only PlayStation 3 pickup for this batch, NCAA Football 09, another NCAA football game. So there you go, multiple NCAA games. I also managed to pick up a Nintendo DS game on this trip. I got Nintendogs Dalmatian and Friends, which is actually my third Nintendogs game. I'm looking at them right now. I've got Chihuahua and Friends and Lab and Friends. So I'm curious... How many of these freaking <laughs> Nintendogs games did they make? How many am I going to have to collect? Someone please tell me. I have a feeling there's maybe 8,000 of those things. Just Dance 2 for the Nintendo Wii. Let's see if there's any songs on here that are any good. Uh, Tick Tock, okay. Uh, sh something by Cher, the Pussycat Dolls. I do like Rihanna. Rihanna, Rihanna. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, there she is. There's our girl Avril Lavigne. Okay, this has all the jams now. All right, the last game to look at, Top Gun Fire at Will. I picked this one up pretty much because I have an affinity for these flying games. I really like playing them. I remember playing Flight Simulator on the PC back in the 90s and just not being able to get the plane off the ground at all. Uh, I couldn't figure out the controls at all. I'm still just loving the game. So ever since then, I've had this uh, affinity towards these flight simulators, and I will continue to pick them up anytime I see them. And the very last things we have to show 
these memory cards I picked up at that yard sale. I did not pick up the big mess of cables, but I did grab these memory cards. They were, uh, at least these two are officially PlayStation branded. Oh yeah, it looks like this one might be as well. They're all Sony. Um, I'm not sure if they have any value. I am going to look them up. Unfortunately, some marker on that one. But uh, yeah, I, I figure you can never have too many memory cards, so they're going in the collection. So let me get this all cleaned up and I'll be right back. There you go, looking much better. So that is going to wrap things up for me. This is the total collection for today. I want to thank you for joining me on this thrifting throwdown journey where we go out there and try to add some video games to my collection on the cheap. And speaking of my collection, here's where things stand after today's thrifting throwdown journey. I was able to add a bunch of new games to my collection from across a bunch of different systems. Really pleased with the luck I had on this thrifting throwdown. Before you go, I do want to remind you, you can hit that like button if you enjoyed that video. It helps me know that you enjoyed the video and I'll keep making more just like this one. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button because that's really going to help me out. It helps grow the channel, helps get more eyes on the channel, basically helps with the algorithms, all good stuff. And lastly, comment down below. Let me know if you've had any thrifting finds of your own recently. If you saw anything in this video that I missed or if you just want to chat and say hello, feel free to drop a comment down below. Lastly, I just want to remind you, you can follow me on social media, all the normal sites, mainly Instagram, that's where I post the most, at LDabstroyero. So that said, I want to thank you again for watching. Be sure to stick around to see what my best thrift of the day was. And see you next time on Thrifting Throwdown.